Good morning, John and Kirsten. We've noticed some drivers actually ignoring the closure. Workers are here on the scene improving the roads for us. The loop ramp there is closed. Orange barrels closing that ramp, but still we saw two cars drive past them and two other cars stopping in the middle of the lane, stopping there for a few minutes, thinking about going through, but then did the right thing and went on onto the 95. And there's a detour in place for a reason, and it'll stay that way for approximately 18 months until fall of next year. And here's the detour so it doesn't catch you by surprise. Here's a map created by NDOT. Northbound 95 to westbound 215 access will take drivers off the 95 before they reach the new closure. They'll go north through Sky Point Drive and then left for the westbound 215. And DOT is working to synchronize traffic lights in the area with traffic flow to ease it up. And drivers we talked with don't really seem to mind. People can find it different ways of, you know, getting to and from. You just got to leave a little earlier and stay a little later if you don't. <laughs> you got to take the good with the bad. I mean, if you want a brighter future, you got to endure the pain. So, I mean, maybe that's just the military background. It's all part of a larger $73 million improvement of the Centennial Bowl, which broke ground just last month. Once the new flyover ramp is completed, NDOT says it will be the second longest bridge in the entire state, measuring approximately 2,600 feet, the equivalent of seven football fields. And back out here live, guys, the road out there, the loop is closed. You can't use it anymore. It's closed for a reason. You could put lives in danger if you drive past a closure. The 75 foot tall bridge is expected to ease up traffic along the 95 and also through that ramp once it opens next year. Reporting live, Hector Mejia, 8 News Now.